beautifuls. What a nice spot, right? I know, right? Like, this is in Cambodia. I did not expect Cambodia to look like this, okay? It looks like I'm in, you know, Fiji or something. Anyways, <laughs> what a nice spot to talk about a very interesting topic. Why do women pick black or Arabic guys over the white ones? Now, this is a very, you know, bold statement, all right? And I'm not sure if I'm allowed to talk about it, but I'm allowed to do anything, right? I'm a goddess, so I can do anything, all right? Because a lot of men, you know, complain about it, you know? All the girls just go for the Arabic guys, all the girls just go for the black guys or whatever, right? why why is it and why are you here watching my channel accepting you are submissive and subordinate to women okay you have to realize one thing all right um a similar thing is happening with women right like um a lot of men also pick for example asian women or south american women over over white ones okay and this used to piss me off until i realized that there is something to learn okay there's something to learn about it right so that's how i i think you should approach the situation as well um learn something from the black guys and from the arabic guys they're doing something right that you're not doing okay and now let's take a look on what they're doing right okay um first of all what I have noticed is that they are not insecure to talk to girls, okay? But you can be like, oh, but nowadays, nowadays it's so hard to talk to girls because they're gonna think like I'm, I'm following them or something or like I am being a creep. Well, yes, they will if you think of yourself like that. But if you approach the situation in a confident way, if you're confident in yourself, just like these other guys are, like learn from them, okay? They are not afraid to just come up to a girl and talk to her. And I know it because I have been approached many times like that, right? They're just not like pissing their pants talking to girls like, you know? Like some of you guys are <laughs> so that's one thing that you have to realize they just have the confidence to do that and it shows right and this is why a lot of girls also respect them right um and don't get me wrong they also get rejected right like even if an arabic guy guy comes or a black guy comes to a woman they also get rejected but they keep trying okay they keep trying all over and again and girls like that that's what i actually expecting right like they're not gonna say yes for the first time duh and i'm not saying it just for the thing you know but like in general they're not gonna say be like oh yeah yeah, yeah you know like super flirty like of course they're gonna you know say no to you once in a while right but you have to expect that like go to the dating scene expecting that they're gonna say no or they're gonna be first like you know what the fuck you want but you know these guys can handle that really well because they keep trying you know like they keep just playing with it right like they're not being like oh okay bye or like they're not it's not affecting their confidence right so um that's where you have to get to the game with all right you always have to feel like you have the upper hand over the situation right you cannot let her um affect you you cannot let her response affect how you feel about yourself and that's why I see a lot of times happen with um, with white guys right they're just like yeah she rejected me or something it really affects them right like they get really they just stopped the guys in the West don't know anymore how to approach a girl so I'm advising all of you guys to look at the Arabic or the black guys and learn from them, okay? Don't approach them with hate, okay? Don't like look at this like, oh, 
don't take this personally okay i'm trying to help you i'm really trying to help you right unless you don't want to be helped if you don't want to be helped then welcome to my channel my name is bella <laughs> where we talk all about submissive men and beatiness and sissiness whatever you want but you know in this video i'm trying to help you if this is the thing that actually bothers you okay So I don't know what else to say because I think I think that I said everything that was needed to say and that's it. I mean like look at the amazing view that we have here. <laughs> and um, let me guys know if this happened to you and how you feel about the situation or if this didn't happen to you or how is the situation in your country, in your place. Yeah, if you want to talk more about or about it with me, make sure to come subscribe to my special page, which is on Twitter in the description below. And I'm going to be so excited to hear from you. Not really, because you know, I don't talk with betas. No, just kidding, I do. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you guys. I love talking with you all, hearing your experiences, hearing your stories about how you went into the uh, beta lifestyle. It's Oh my god, look at my hand. How did this happen? What what did I touch? It doesn't leave. Oh, okay. I have to go wash it. Such a nice flower, right? <laughs> so yeah, I'm really curious about your experience with this and your story about how you came into the submissive lifestyle because I suppose that you are already, you know, one foot in it if you're watching my channel you know so let me know i'm really curious in the comments below too we would like to hear from all of you guys um yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one goodbye